welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. Today we are going to be doing what I call mom makeup. And I know that might sound a little silly, you don't have to be a mom to use this makeup, but I guess the way I see it as a mom, I don't feel like I have a lot of time to devote to myself and doing my own makeup all the time. And I feel like I'm always in a rush. Um, so really this is just makeup for busy women, women on the go, women who want to do their face of makeup really fast and easy and want to look pretty and put that effort into themselves without having to spend a lot of time. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Just a really natural glowy makeup look. I have a fun eye look picked out. So let's get started. I have all the makeup that I'm going to be using in this one compact and I'm just going to use two brushes today because I really want to show how minimal and simplified this makeup can be. So I have all the makeup I'm going to be using in here. So I have my highlights, contour, bronzer, some lip and cheek colors, and then on the second layer I have um, illuminator, powder, brow colors, and then I have this color, um, four colors of eyeshadow that I picked out to do today. So all my makeup's in there and then I'm going to use the blend brush to do my face makeup which can help me give a more natural light coverage look. And then I have my eyeshadow brush just to do my eyeshadow look. I'm gonna start with contouring. And yes, I still contour my face when I'm in a hurry because I can't not contour my face anymore. Now that I know how fast and easy it is with these creams, I can't not do it. So we're gonna start with the small side of my blend brush and I'm just gonna dip that into my contour shade. I'm using Ash. I'm just gonna start with my contour shade just underneath my cheekbone here like that. And I'm gonna apply my contour all along my forehead, the perimeter of my face, like all along my hairline, just like that. As you can see, I'm not being too precise with it because I'm gonna blend it all together. And the really cool thing about these creams is that they all seamlessly blend into each other like with no effort. So I'm gonna take some of my contour shade and I'm just gonna run it down either side of my nose just to really define the shape of my nose, make it look a little bit slimmer and straighter. <laughs> Just basically drawing two lines down either side of my nose, a little bit on the top of my nose and a little bit on the side to make my nose appear more slim. I like to take whatever's left on my brush and just put it under my, the tip of my nose to really define the tip. Like, look at that dra dramatic difference. I haven't really done much to it. That's it. Just gonna take a little contour under my bottom lip too. See, look at that. Look what it does. Just looks so pouty all of a sudden. Okay, we're done with contour. Let's start highlighting now. I'm gonna use the fluffy side of my blend brush to apply my highlight shade because I want a little bit more of a light coverage. So I'm just gonna fluff it everywhere basically that I didn't contour. So you can see how it's almost like paint by numbers on your face. You place each shade of your 3D foundation where you want it on your face to create dimension and then you just blend it all together. So I'll show you how I do that. With Saint 3D foundation, when I say highlight, I'm basically what I'm talking about is what you would normally think of as foundation. like. This is the color I'm using right here. This is white peach. It doesn't have any shimmer in it or anything like that. It's not meant to illuminate anything on your face. It's just meant to give coverage. And really when you're highlighting and contouring, you're just playing with light and shadow on the face to bring dimension and accentuate the parts of your face that you want to show off. Just putting my main highlight shade all around my mouth, my nose, the bottom of my face. I'm gonna take a little bit on the smaller side of my brush and do the, the redness around my nose here. I'm gonna do just like right here on the forehead, kind of the sides of the forehead underneath where I contoured. And then I'm gonna leave the center of my forehead open because I'm gonna start with my brightening highlight shade. So I have, this is my main highlight shade. This is my brightening highlight shade. It's a little bit lighter as you can see. And what I want to do with that is add a pop of brightness to really bring a lot of light to the center of my face. So that's going to go in my T-zone and my under eye area. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that moonlit, that light shade, and I'm going to do that in the center of my forehead. The light's being weird. Okay. Then I'm going to fluff some of this in my under eyes to really brighten up my under eye area. And you can almost do like a triangular shape here under the eye, if you can see. Like I'm bringing that all the way out to my temple and down alongside the nose there. I'm not worried about the apple of my cheek too much because I'm gonna put blush there in a minute. I'm 
And the last place I'm going to put my brightening highlight shade is I'm going to put a little bit down my chin and on my upper lip. Like that. And then last tip, I'm going to take my pinky finger and just take a teeny tiny bit of that. And I'm just going to run this down the center of my nose in a really straight, thin line to really make that nose contour pop, make the center of my nose look cute. Okay. We are highlighted and contoured. Now we just need to blend because I look crazy. So I like to just take the fluffy side of my blend brush. It doesn't have any product left on it and I'm just going to blend. So I just like to go around the face. I like to start with the light, the highlight first, the highlighted areas, and then we'll go into the contoured areas next. So when blending, you just want to make sure that you're blending your cheek contour upward because you don't want to drag that contour down. You want your cheekbones to be lifted. So you kind of lightly blend the underside of that line and then just blend it upwards like that. With nose contour, I always just want to blend gently because I want the light and shadow to stay where I've placed it. I just don't want lines on my face. If you turn your face from side to side, there should be no lines on your face. Now, it's at this point that I like to add just a little bit of powder. I like to take the powder and just put a little bit under my eyes right here. So I just pat a very light amount just to make sure that my under eye area doesn't crease. I'm just using the Vanilla Dust setting powder from Saint. Just taking whatever's left on my brush into the center of my face here. So just making sure I don't get too shiny. I like to keep that glow, but just to tone it down a little bit. All right, now we're going to finish the face. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer. So I'm just gonna fluff some Bella bronzer on the high points of my face wherever the sun would naturally hit my skin just to make a little bit more warmth and sun-kissed glow here. So like the tops of the cheekbones, the forehead, anywhere where you want to have a little glow. And then I'm gonna do some blush. So I'm going to do Hollywood blush today. It's like a peachy color, but it has like a light gold shimmer to it. If you can see when I turn in the light, it's very fine. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my blend brush and just tap that on the apples of my cheeks to add a little bit of color. I'm just gonna add some of that Hollywood to my lips with my finger. And I'm actually gonna add a little bit of this color on my lips too. This is Desert Sunset. As you can see, this is a little bit more glossy. I always like to do a glossy lip and cheek on my lips, just personal preference. Just a little bit shinier and more moisturizing. Last step for the face is Illuminator. I'm gonna use this one right here. This is Honey. Look at that sheen. Such a fine luminescence, but it's a little bit of a golden shade. I take that on my finger as well and I'm just going to put that on the high points of my face where the sun will give me that candlelit glow. See that? A little bit to the nose and the upper lip here and the chin. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows. I guess I did lie, I'm gonna use a third brush today. I'm gonna use my line brush to do my brows real quick. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use Cola Contour right here. This is a contour shade, but I'm gonna use it to fill in my brows, BRB. Okay, now we're gonna do a really fast and easy and fun eyeshadow look. So I have these four colors right here. So it's gonna be like a pinky shimmery look using these four. So I'm gonna start with this one first. This is Stay Golden. It's a matte, warm, light taupe shade. It has a slight, slight shimmer to it. 
like very subtle, but it's very warm, golden toned taupe. So I'm using my eyeshadow brush and I'm just putting that in the crease of my eye. Truck just drove by. <laughs> just back and forth like a windshield wiper motion with my brush like that. I'm gonna flip the brush around and use this smaller smudgy side with that stay golden shade and I'm just gonna put that all along my bottom lash line just to add a little bit of shadow under there. Now I'm going to use this shade right here. This is Sabrina. It's like a shimmery champagne shade. I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone with that. I'm gonna add a pop of that to the inner corner of my eye as well, just to bring some light right there. Now I'm going to use this shade right here. This is called Soulmate. It's very shimmery. Like, as you can see, like, look at all that foil, that metallic in there, but it's like, it's like a peachy pink shade, but it's mostly just extremely shimmery. So it's super fun and pretty. And I'm just gonna add that to my lid, focusing mostly on the inner portion of my lid. So I'm going to just pop that right there. Look how shimmery that is. It's so pretty. It's got like a silver foil to it. So that's what color it mostly is. Look at that. All right, and lastly, I'm gonna add a pop of fun color. I'm gonna do Miha right here. It's like a matte fuchsia shade. It's really pretty. Take that same small side of my brush, and I'm just gonna add that to the outer corner of my upper lid. like that and then I'm gonna flip the brush around and use this fluffy side to just blend the edges into the crease there just lightly fluffing around the edges blending it into the other colors I applied and that's it and it's just kind of a fun pop of that pink shade and actually I chose these colors for a reason because these are on sale right now so this one right here that I just used Miha and stay golden these come in a bundle right now to celebrate foster care month national foster care month because if you haven't heard, Saint has a foundation, a nonprofit foundation called Love is Never Wasted that brings awareness to foster care in the United States. And the profits from both of these two eyeshadows are always donated to the Love is Never Wasted Foundation. So it's really cool because you can sh you can wear pretty eyeshadows and the money goes to a really good cause. And these are on sale in a bundle with, where is it? <laughs> These are on sale right now in a bundle with this brush, the eyeshadow brush. So you can get this brush and these two right here on sale. So if you want to shop those eyeshadows, shop through the link that I'm posting in the details below and you can have these for a really good sale. So, so this is the final makeup look. It has some fun color on the eyes, but just a really natural glowing contoured face. And the really great thing about it is it fit all in this one compact. All the colors I used on my face are in this one palette. And it's customizable and magnetic and you can build your own custom compact. It's really great to have your entire makeup collection in just one compact. And you know, all you really need is a couple brushes and this, and you can do your whole beautiful face of makeup. It's really great for moms or anyone who's a busy person who just wants to be able to do their makeup quickly and have it look beautiful and effortless and natural. It's really nice to be able to take five minutes for yourself every day um, to really give yourself that confidence boost. So if you want help creating your own custom compact, I can help with that. You can fill out my color match form and I'll help you choose some highlight and contour shades that'll really work for your skin tone. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, this is it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.